11.4.4 binomial distribution. A such a question. How could I find probability using binomial distribution? Skill. I could use binomial distribution to calculate probability. An archer has a 30% chance of hitting a bullseye on a target. What is the probability that the archer will hit the bullseye exactly 3 out of 5 times? Let's refer back to the booklet to look at the formula. For binomial, x is going to be the number of successes in n fixed trials. And p is the probability of that success. So the formula for this would be n choose x times the probability to the x power times 1 minus the probability to the n minus x power. Now n choose x is actually the combination formula. It's going to be n factorial over x factorial n minus x factorial. It's just another notation of writing it. So if we rewrite this formula like that, we have n factorial over x factorial n minus x factorial times p of the n times a complement to the n minus x power. Now let's determine what each of these things are. n, x, and p. Well, n is going to be the number of trials. It's going to be 5. x is how many they want to have correct, which is 3, exactly 3. And then the probability of getting that success is 30%. It would be 0 0.3. You'd write it in standard form. So the main thing to do on here is to identify the values and plug it into the formula. Once you do that, you can put it into the calculator. So a 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 5 minus 3 factorial, times 0.3 to the 5th power, times 1 minus 0.3 to the 5 minus 3 power. Let's simplify it a little before putting in the calculator. So 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, or 3 factorial, 2 factorial. Well, 2 factorial is just 2, so that goes away. So you have 10 times 0.3 to the 5th power times 0.7 to the 2nd power. Okay, now let's put it in the calculator. And that is this fraction right here, also known as 1.2%. This first example was to get exactly a number. The next one is to get at least a number. A quiz consists of seven multiple choice questions. Each question has four choices. A student who forgot to study guessed randomly on every question. What is the probability that the student answers at least six questions correctly? Just like the previous example, we're going to use the same formula as before. We want to identify n x and p. Well, n is the number of questions. There's, there's seven of them. 
The probability of getting it right is 1 out of 4, so that's going to be 0 0.25. Now it says at least 6 questions correct, and there's 7 all together. So you want to find when x is 6 and when x is 7. So you're going to do this formula twice. Let's go ahead and plug it into the formula and then add the two number to two expressions together. Seven factorial over six factorial, seven minus six factorial times point two five to the seventh power times point seven five to the first power. And then we'll add the other one with x being 7. We have 7 factorial over 7 factorial, 7 minus 7 factorial, times 0.25 to the 7th power times 0.75 to the 0th power. Go ahead and put these both in the calculator and combine them. And when you put that all into the calculator, you get 25 out of 65,536. Also known as 0.04%. Answer the essential question. And then try the other examples below.